Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to talk about statistical studies in general and how to trust or when to trust the sampling methods in conclusions that you're given. Um, first of all, you want to ask, does the sampling method appear to be biased or unbiased? For instance, um, if you, does the method chosen greatly influence the validity of the conclusion? So maybe somebody went about deciding how they were going to select people just so that they could skew the results. The second one is a voluntary response and this one we talk about all the time and it comes up regularly because people in society do voluntary responses so frequently. It might be on the internet, it comes up in your Facebook feed, if you want to vote go yes or no. These often have bias because people either strongly agree or strongly disagree that decide to respond and most people in the middle aren't responding at all so anytime you hear voluntary response you should assume that it's not a good sampling method the third one is was it designed systematically to favor certain outcomes so if you want to talk about um, to prove that we need more parking spaces in the, on campus and you go out to sample the population did you specifically walk up to people who are sitting in their car waiting for a spot to say do you think we need more parking spaces here so that you in, in, you definitely ask the people that would give the responses that you were looking for or that were likely to give those responses um, was the sample selected strictly to convenience so maybe you want to talk to people about um, how much money they spend on the movies every year and you just want to find people that definitely go to the movie so you stand outside the movie theater and you ask them or maybe you're just saying how many times a year do you go to the cinema well that's convenient because those people will all have some kind of answer but what about the people who aren't at the theater you should be asking people randomly in the population not just the people that you know have gone right um, is the research objective or biased? So the first one has to do with the sampling method, how they got their, their numbers, but the second one is just um, the research in general. Does the research promote or benefit the party who initiated the study? That's considered a self-interest study. Now just because there's a self-interest study doesn't mean that it's biased. It just means that you should be aware, like, oh, the Diet Coke industry did a study saying how drinking artificial sweeteners can improve your breath or something I don't know whatever but it could be that they're just trying to improve them themselves through the study or the look of themselves a conflict of interest occurs when individuals personal interests are in conflict with their professional obligations so maybe someone does a study and their boss is wanting them to say yes we'd be safer if people bought our particular product and when they finish the study there could be that um, that doesn't look like it would be a good idea but if they were to say that they could get fired so sometimes there's just a conflict of interest that means that we don't get the actual true results um, did the survey that was used contain loaded or misleading questions so if you want to know how people feel about um, tuition you wouldn't walk up to somebody and say do you, would you do you think that our tuition costs are uh, are higher than they should be um, you, you know you could ask it in a way that could just be saying how do you feel about the tuition at this campus but if you already are kind of leading them to hey this is too high or whatever how angry are you about our um, tuition here at South Puget Sound or something like that that's definitely loaded and it causes people to respond differently and did the survey conclude that one variable causes the other variable when in fact the variables are only correlated or associated together so you might say um, I, I did this study and I showed that people that brush their teeth tend to sleep more soundly well maybe people that brush their teeth have a routine and that routine helps them get tired and they sleep better it doesn't mean that brushing your teeth is actually the cause of you sleeping better it might just be uh, there might be a correlation because there's several different things that you do that lead to that so think about all those things in general as you look at a research